without further ado, we have three guys in the top right. We have the yellow person, Team Alien Invasion. He is CPU. And his opponent in the top left. He is from Team Grubby, the green Protoss. He is Grubby. Uh, of course, Team Grubby is not something that actually exists. But then again, it does kind of exist, but not in the traditional sense. And, well, long story short, uh, he's a solo player, but he has a team of player of other people behind him. Let's put it that way. Grubby is a brand on his own. That's probably the, the simplest way. He's And he's a great guy, of course. For those of you who don't know Grubby, he was a former Warcraft 3 Orc Pro, a brilliantly talented player. Um, I'd still want beers. Like they, you both tried to cheese. You can't hold. You can't hold anger about it. You yeah. tried to cannon rush him. I, I think a lot of players need to realize that you can separate a player from a person. Um, you know, whatever a player can do to you in the game is actually completely separate from what they can do uh, from what they are actually like in in real life. You know. Um, I think that's a lot of things though. It's in more. Uh, Traditional sports and stuff. Oh yeah. You can you can be someone's worst enemy on the court or on the pitch, but the second you go off, you can sit there and be good friends with them. Exactly. As long as someone's not rude to you or abusive or something, it's a game, and they're trying to win. And yeah. both of them employ tactics in game number one that are viable and can win you games. Hmm. So this is a uh, pretty standard build from both players, uh, except for the, yeah, they're actually both putting two. Rising gas, which is a very specific thing, which I'm not sure what it hints at, um, but it does indicate that they are going for a very similar build. Except, Robbie has the second gas. Yeah, exactly. That's where things get a bit different. CP with just the two probes in one gas is really unusual, like massively so, because generally, if you get one gas down, you'll put three probes in it always. Mm -hmm. If you get two gases, you sometimes see four probes total, sometimes six, but hmm. This oh. is unusual from CPU. Yeah. Do you have mature language filter on by any chance? Yes, I do. Don't uh, worry. So do I. Nice. Well, not that there, I'm that concerned about the, the poor souls of our Dutch and non-Dutch viewers as well, of course. But uh, it, it, let's just say it's a good thing to, that, to have. Trust me. Once you've cast Naniwa once without your profanity filter on, you never turn it off again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. So I think this is... No, it's not a free stock of rush because we would have seen a second gateway by now. Uh, oh, there it goes, actually. So this, mm, No, it's actually... Okay, it's a standard three gate. So it's a free gate versus uh, a stargate opener. Um, I think Grubby's in a lot of trouble. I, I don't actually... If, if my rock, paper, scissors list is still up to date, uh, three gate is actually very strong against stargate first opener. Unless he attacks the wrong base, but that's a whole different concern. There's no mothership call. That makes things harder. Um... And obviously the Chrono is coming down on the Phoenix. It is going to be very tough. Admittedly, I don't think PvP is Rock, Paper, Scissors anymore. It's more no. like Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock from the Big Bang Theory. But it's still... There's lots of ways you can defend this. But this is probably the worst build Grubby could have gone for in terms of defending a 3 game. Yeah. No something's up though. Probes. He's pulled more probes. Yeah. And the first pressure comes in. And he goes for the lift. And it doesn't do anything because there aren't any units for Grubby that can actually shoot up. Um, and wow, he actually, yeah, he's gonna go for the pylons, which is a good idea. He wants to guard his ramp. The question is, okay, now he's got two, two phoenixes, uh, but the first warp in uh, is already gonna complete there, so. Uh, like I mentioned, I think Grubby's in a lot of trouble. The Mothership Core is getting exceptionally low. Gets taken out, that means no folk, no overcharge. Grubby is in a really rough spot now. He can't really afford to lose more than two or three workers. I believe that pylon is in range, but yeah. the cybernetics core will get taken down. Oh, that manner. Oh, he actually doesn't kill the pylon, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, if he killed that, it would have stopped Warpgate. And that would have definitely been GG. But regardless, GG called, and it's now tied 1-1. Yeah, very quickly. Well